Let's go ahead and, and go. Oh yeah. Yeah, this thing is not bad. It's not slow at all. No, sir, this ST line is pretty quick. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back. My name is Pedro. In today's video, we're gonna get behind the wheel of this 2022 Ford Explorer ST line. Uh, kind of excited to do so, because this is the first time I see the Ford Explorer ST line trim. Now, uh, this uh, trim is based off out of the XLT model, uh, which Ford gives us. Obviously, there's various, you know, there's probably about six or seven trims over the Ford Explorer, from base, XL, XLT, you got, you know, this one, the ST line, we got the ST, which I've drove recently. We have the King Ranch Platinum, all those wonderful trims of the Explorer. Now, this one here that we have with us is in a stone blue metallic, which is a brand new color for 2022. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this color, a very unique color for 2022. So obviously you got here coming into the side of the line, we have the ST line badge here of this Explorer. Uh, very cool looking, very nice. Love these wheels, these are 20 inch wheels that are specific to this ST line model. Just a few bits and bits that uh, are just uh, for the ST line, as you can see. So we got yeah. the blacked out uh, headlight housing, which is really nice, a little touch. Also a black gloss and also the Explorers in black gloss trim uh, i wish ford would have done the black out emblem which they do have obviously they they offer that in some of the models uh, especially the black appearance packages but they should have done that i think it would have been a little bit better but it's not doesn't look too bad uh considering the color of this explorer now over here guys we got led lights we have the daytime running lights we also have some foggers here on the bottom which are led as well uh, a lot of bits of trims and pieces of this ford uh explorer obviously it's based out of the xl this has got the 2.3 liter ecoboost engine four cylinder turbo now now these are uh, beautiful, I love those wheels. These are wrapped around 20 inch, 255 millimeter uh, Michelin Primacy tires. And you can see guys, we got the ST line. We also got some black, uh, basically some black gloss mirrors as well. Uh, so this is all kind of, a, you know, more of a sport appearance package. Now, obviously this is kind of based out of the Ford uh, uh, Explorer ST, but obviously this is kind of the look, but without the motor, without the 3.0 liter twin turbo V6. So this is basically gives you more of an XL package with that ST look, which is really cool, really nice what Ford has done. Uh, this stone blue mechanic is really nice. It's kind of, kind of like a darkish, greenish, bluish kind of color. It's really cool, uh, especially when the sun comes out. Uh, obviously, the sun's kind of going out between clouds right now, but really, really interesting color. So this is a new color for 2022 besides the uh, red velvet. So uh, coming back to the side of the Explorer here, we got the black dot Explorer uh, badge here. As you can see, the name, we have not no other ST line here in the back, but it's really cool, very clean looking here in the back. Now here in the back, we do have a dual exhaust that are part of that package. Okay, so we got a little more black out trim here in the bottom and this one does have the tow package and this explorer is rated to tow 5300 pounds so even though it's only got the 2.5 a 2.3 liter ecoboost engine you can tow 5300 pounds obviously this is a you know, excellent vehicle for towing uh coming around this guy's really nice the way this is i mean it's got some blacked out uh not blacked out but we got some tinted windows and i really like this this model of this look obviously this explorer is very sporty looking more of a darker shade kind of more of a dark uh, uh you know blacked out kind of suv we do have a panoramic sunroof on this one and you can see guys we got the black roof rails here on this one here as well uh, this model that we have with us here is in rear wheel drive you can also get front uh, all wheel drive as well so that's one of the things about the ford explorer for example the st you can get also in rear wheel drive uh, usually the model just came with all wheel drive but it all depends on what you weather but this is just a rear wheel drive model which is great here for florida because we don't have any snow you know yeah so, so we're going to check out the uh bill package here guys you can see this is a 20 inch wheel just consider you know basically part of the special package and this is running michelin primacy all seasons 255 millimeter tires we got single piston color all around obviously we don't get the the st's big brakes or the special pads this is just your regular brakes overall for this explorer so that's a really cool package i really like the way this wheels looks i love the aluminum which gives it a really nice reflection with the darker color so but we already did 
did a bit, a bit of review of this Explorers. Here's your key, regular key. Of course, you got the automatic start start. We got double click for your rear hatch area. So let's pop that real quick as you can see, guys. Now this Explorer does have a little bit of a special differences because we do have, say example, this red stitching that's part of it. This package, you can see the red ST line Explorer floor mat, which are really cool. These are kind of put back here. Obviously the seats are up right now. Uh, these don't have the automatic seats that go up, like the, for example, in the ST. So just your base, you gotta pull them up by the hand. But obviously you got you know plenty of uh, space here in the back. You got cup holders. I don't see any USB connections on this one, but uh, there's definitely sometimes usually the USB connections will obviously depend on the model and trim. This one doesn't have them, but you got at least a speaker here in the back. We got a 12 uh, speaker system. This is a software for that's part of that system. And also we got the LED lighting here. We got a 12 watt connection. We got some more, uh, we do have some more storage here on the sides and if we lift this up see we got a little cool explore little logo here which is awesome easter egg that usually four puts we got a little more room here in the back this is obviously still kind of brand new because it's still got some rubber mats here on the bottom and i uh, think we do have a, a space saving spare tire here in the back yes you do you have a spare tire here in the back as well which is awesome so you got extra room here and you have also a spare tire here in the back which is awesome so Over here in the back as we got about 18 and a half square feet behind the third row of space here which is pretty roomy obviously with a seat like this down you have a lot more space so basically here you can see this is basically a seven or eight seater passenger depending on how you use it uh you know in latin country we'll put up to 10 here but obviously here we'll put you know eight eight seven persons is basically what you can carry in here in this so, explorer so it's kind of right, let's go ahead and put this down here as you can see you got some graphics here as you can show you how to put the seat that set it up to the certain height which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and put that down guys and as you can see there's your back right, checking really out cool. the interior of this explorer guys you can see this st is especially done with this red stitching as well this is our black ebony seats with the uh, active x seats and we also got a little bit of alcantara cloth here in the middle which is really cool that's part of this explorer st lines uh, the way it comes just really awesome as you can see you got that red stitching which is really cool also the floor mats as well we got some on the door here as, as you can see as well which really looks fantastic a little bit of a black piano trim here, a little bit of aluminum trim surrounding the door handle which is really really nice so guys open into the back you can just check out here you can just raise the seat here you can get into the back which is pretty cool you can also put captain chairs here as well and these seats do recline a little bit more back and i think you can get them back a little more so there we go guys so go ahead and jump in to check out the interior a little bit here all right guys so coming here in the back really nice obviously you see that red station which is really cool we also have a center armrest here with some more cup holders which is really awesome we got some ac outlets we got of course you got a panoramic sunroof here which gives us more light coming here to the center console we got your third zone ac we do have a usb connection here as you can see and we have a 12 volt connection here and we have some additional cup pullers here as well we got this we got the uh, transmission tunnel here which is pretty nice pretty slow really nice the way it is and back here really plenty of room as you can see guys i'm about 5 11 we've got plenty of room here in the back and even the seats a little further back we got a couple of pockets here and coming here to the middle we do have the dash layer of this st guys so really cool really nice obviously we've been here before but it's a really nice interior so, so all right let's go ahead and take a quick look at that 2.3 liter ecoboost engine let's go ahead and pull twice here as indicated and let's check it out all right it's a little hot but i'm going to go ahead and raise the hood because we have no hydraulic assistance here at all we're going to have to grab our little stick which is right here and stick it all the way up here as indicated there with a little arrow Oof, that's hot we're in a hot florida day today guys so here we have the famous 2.3 liter ecoboost engine uh this is a four cylinder inline four turbocharged with 300 horsepower 310 pound feet of torque now this is going to a 10 speed automatic transmission and heading out towards the rear wheels this is a rear wheel drive model as i mentioned you can get all wheel drive as well in this in this uh explorer st line so as you can see we got a bit of a strut bar here going on the engine so it puts a little more protection or more chassis rigidity and as you can see the engine is quite low here on the bottom so you can fit a much much bigger engine of course a three liter twin turbocharged uh v6 with 400 horsepower that's in the st line or the regular uh titanium models or the king ranch as well but this engine sits quite low there so it's kind of you know it should have a pretty good balance in terms of handling a little bit better uh, since this is a pretty heavy vehicle it's got plenty of fuel efficiency about 20 miles to the city about 25 26 in a highway i'll put that, all that information guys up on the screen if i already did so all right let's go ahead and put this down let's go ahead and grab this is hot uh, putting this back into its place and dropping the hood there of this explorer 
All right, checking out the interior driver side of this ST line. So we got all the soft touch materials here with the black leather and the red stitching, which is really nice. Some black piano trim here along the windows. I mean, excuse me, along the window controls here and the mirror controls as well. Aluminum trim surrounding the door handle. That bag and Olsen, uh, basically uh, letter, letters there because of this has got the awesome bag and Olsen system. We do have also a bit of more storage space here in the bottom for drinks and stuff, another speaker. Uh, coming here in the middle, guys, we got the scuff plates that said ST line, which is awesome. Awesome. We do have also your leather and micro, micro kind of suede uh, closet here. That's a mix of suede and cloth, which is really cool. We got that. It's actually an X line or X uh, active exit, which is really cool. Of course, you can see that red stitching, which is really awesome. These are basically just specific to this model of ST line. Of course, that's also that red stitching also comes into this leather covered steering wheel. Bit of aluminum trim. We got your uh, all your lights control here, well, along with some of the sensors, the rear hatch opening as well. And we got that also soft material here on the top of the uh, dash here as well and a bit of like kind of a synthetic kind of fiber fiber trim as well we got that i don't know manually adjusting and telescope and steering wheel and uh all right guys so that's it but let's go ahead and jump inside right, guys, so of inside this. of this uh st9 explorer so remember this is based on the xlt trims this is kind of the equipment this explorer has so depending around here guys really nice interior i mean really nice uh, as you can see always nice visibility here on this interior uh here we got the eight inch screen and we go ahead and have everything here in the middle here as well we got that red stitching we got a bit of that fox uh, trim here as well and we got your glove box pretty good size and uh, i love this leather trim steering wheel which feels really nice in your hands uh, let's go ahead guys and get this explorer started because it's quite hot let's get some ac going get this engine started so as you can see, you got all the graphics start here, all your um, Explorer graphics here for this eight inch screen. Yes, my door is ajar. Let's drop and drop the app. Uh... All right, guys, so let's go ahead and hear that EcoBoost, uh, 2.3 liter EcoBoost. Let's hear a little bit here. That sounds pretty decent, it's not too bad. I was, it's got pretty decent power. I was surprised. I dropped this quite a while back, uh, but this is a pretty good engine as well. Let's get in, uh, close the door, guys get our seat belts on because we are going to go for a test drive in just a moment right, so we're going to start here in the middle we got your analog tachometer and speedometer we got a 6.5 inch lcd screen here in the middle so here you all your information as you can see guys, this one has just under 12,000 miles so it's still pretty much a brand new ford explorer st line um we do have all the kinds of information here as you can see uh let's go through the screen here we got miles per hour we got all kinds of you know the stereo we got your tire pressures uh we also got you know various menus as well that you can do settings and all that kind of stuff so uh we go back and let's go back we got also a digital speedometer there as well and uh, of course all kinds of different information so we do have a 10 speed automatic transmission here as you can see you got all the pnrls there um and then uh, we're gonna head here all the controls here for your uh basically your radio and all that stuff and also your cruise control um and then we got your stock so we have no types of paddles here in the back at all this is just your regular line this doesn't have anything like that uh coming here to the center part area we got your eight inch sync three system we got navigation as you can see uh let's go ahead and Let's hit the home button here. I love the touch screens. I just drove the Mazda CX-9 and that doesn't have a touch screen, which is kind of difficult to operate. It's much more of a different thing. Uh, but this is, I love the touch screen. It's much more easier and uh, system to operate. All right, so guys, here we have the 12-speaker Bang & Olsen sound system, which runs pretty good. It's got a really good system. It's got a really, really nice system as well. We got navigation too. As you can see there, we got plenty of apps and settings, all that things you can do. You can also use the uh, My Ford app. You can put it on your phone and do all kinds of things, start the engine, all that kind of stuff from your phone as well. So we got a little cubicle here for more things. This is not a phone charger at all. This is just to put your phone or something like that. Dual zone AC here that we have, really nice feeling. We'll have also, um, so we also got heated seats here for both front seats. We do not have a heat, a cooled seats. That's a, a, on the top model as well. Uh, we do have also a heated steering wheel and we have all types of things or menus here for your for your controls here you can raise the lower your fan speed on that you'll see that also on the display here so we got your volume you got tunes and you change that we got your hazards and your cameras here as well you can see we got the we got a front camera we got also a rear camera as well because we got the 360 degree cameras as you can see guys so that's pretty cool um this also has you know your basic uh four copilot 360 you know in terms of all the technology like uh blind spot detection automatic leg braking lane change departure all that kind of stuff that's the great ford uh pilot 360s so let's go ahead and get the camera off so coming here in the middle guys we do have some usb connections here as well another 12 volts here as you can do more storage here you 
got your little rod, uh, dial here for your directional. We got cup holders. We got your parking brake. We got the uh, brake hold. We also have, it's sort of like a traction control off, as you can see. We turn it back on. We have also modes as well for traction. So we got traction control. Yes, okay. We have normal. We go to echo. We do have sport. We have tow and haul. So all kinds of little modes that you have as well, slippery and all that as well. Trail. Now this does not have the all-wheel drive system, but also that, you know, I'm glad that, the, that they put some of these modes, even if you only have rear-wheel drive. So that's a good feature as well. So that's what you have here, guys, in the middle. And then over here, we do have a wireless charging pad over here. It's a little hidden, but there you go. As you can see, there's, there is right there. We have a little more cubicle storage here on the bottom. We have a 12-volt connection there. And, uh, but that's about it, guys. That's what you have here. We have some more red stitching there. And you can see some of that's red stitching which is really cool so you know you got your sun panoramic sunroof we got also your sunglass holder here controls for your for your sunroof and we got lights as well here in the bottom and we got passing your off a little a little bit of a light there display light and uh, that's about it guys so we just got a little bit of feature here i'm trying to put my phone here which is a note 9 it doesn't fit there as well as you can see it's pretty tight unless i take the cover off but i cannot fit my phone there as well so i'm going to put it right here so but um all right guys so there we go that's the interior of this four explorer so it's really nice this st line is well, well, well equipped this is more of a visual you know representation of a sport model than more interior stuff so but it's really cool let's go ahead and take a quick spin guys and check out this so let's go ahead and we, what motor are we on let's go ahead ahead and go back to let's go back to sports and there we go guys so we're gonna leave it in sport for a little bit and see how this handles so let's go ahead guys and get out and check this out see how this explorer does now obviously the i can i can feel that the acceleration of the pedal is very sensitive so uh we got 98 miles to empty so we got some gas at least and uh, i love the steering wheel it feels great in your hand really cool and really nice feeling um steering wheel now obviously i just got of a cx9 a cx9 is definitely a little more upscale in terms of uh different materials was a little more modern uh, a little more elegant as well and it's about the same you know these are about the same price a little bit give 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 or take a few thousand uh but obviously this is a little more it's a bigger suv this one here it's got a little more capabilities in terms of towing all that kind of stuff but it's still a very good suv so all right let's see how this 10 speed does in sport with this 2.3 liter ecoboost motor and obviously this gentleman's not gonna go and there goes the competition to this thing i think now that's a smaller one that's an equinox i think or some gmc smaller suv uh but i like this explorer this is really nice i mean the explorer still feels nice the uh the steering wheel the steering is a little bit artificial it doesn't have the feedback of the say the cx9 did um but this thing does feel a little more planted, a little bit more down to earth. I mean, a little more planted in terms of body roll. Once we get a little more up to speed, uh, we'll figure that out. But the brakes, yeah, the brakes have a little much, much more of a, a good pad, right? More power at the beginning. So if we floor it. So it got some decent power. I mean, obviously it's holding some revs because we are in sport mode, but uh, it's not bad at all. I mean, it's got some good power and it's downshifts as you can see there so it's not bad it's kind of you know it's a pretty decent feeling it's not heavy heavy feeling it should be but um it's nice i like the way this feels and this this uh, inline four you know is pretty efficient in terms of you know not having a huge v6 this has got plenty of power for every day and uh you know it feels pretty good it feels pretty peppy as well gotta put that down a little bit here all right yeah the steering wheel is nice and thick too i really like this feeling as a steering wheel um perforated leather here at your fingertips and then we got the light so guys if you can see that uh i think we can put that on on auto hold so i'm taking my foot off the brake pedal and it'll actually automatically hold the car or hold the brakes while you're at a stoplight once the light goes green and you step on the on the gas that will definitely disconnect that auto hold so that's a good feature to have some people like it some don't obviously i like to have it because obviously you don't want to put that back and forth in neutral if you're waiting a little bit long in this lights so that's a cool feature to have so let's go back to audio guys it's really nice you know i love the way that this still looks obviously you can get the 10 inch screen here as well which is a little bigger screen here that you can they can definitely do but this is a more down to earth you know eight inch screen here that you can, instead of that having on the huge long screen sorry right, guys let's go ahead and and go Oh yeah. 
Yeah, this thing is not bad. It's not slow at all. No, sir. This ST line is pretty quick. So as you can see, guys, there no slouch at all. This has got plenty of power. I really like it. So let's go ahead and switch to, let's go back to normal. Go to echo and just kind of put it in normal so relax the transmission and relax the throttle. Uh, you know, basically the, the sporty throttle. So we'll relax all that stuff and just go for a more relaxing drive. That's still, you know, very nice. It's got, you know, kind of a two faced, you know, uh, kind of two faced performance to relax. You know, I'm not worried about anything or put in sport. It's going to have that higher gear. It's going to be more eager to go. So. But uh, this, this, this uh, obviously this uh, this Explorer fits a little bit lighter without that six uh, the, the three liter turbo V6. This is a much lighter engine for sure, and it feels very agile too. You know, it feels like more like a sedan. I mean, it's really nice the way this Explorer feels. Obviously, that stability system is going to be going nuts. All that uh, lane keep assist is going to be going. Where the hell are you doing, sir? But uh, really like this Explorer. I mean, for every day here in Florida, you don't need anything huge power. We don't have any mountains. Uh, we don't have snow this model makes perfect sense if you're a family looking for a you know good sized suv this is uh, looks really nice very sporty nice seats not red leather stitching it's got you know kind of special look to it um this is a f f f fantastic uh, option you know considering the competition you got the uh the Pathfinder, you got the Telluride from Kia, you got the Palisade from Hyundai, I saw you drove the CX-9, you know, we got various models, obviously the CX-9 has a little bit of better materials and a little bit better finish inside, but that's a little more pricier in terms of the same thing you can get, but uh, yeah, it depends on also what the Explorer you get, the Explorers can turn out pretty expensive as well. But uh, this is plenty of plenty of uh, SUV. This is plenty of Explorer for every day. Rear wheel drive is perfect for here unless you want to take some off roading, or you have a home up north. But um, I really like this Explorer. Really nice, very efficient. And uh, let's go ahead and take that turn here. So we got a more relaxed thing, but it still takes off. Obviously, it's got rear wheel drive. You might be able to slide it a little bit with the rear wheel drive if you turn off traction control off. But very smooth transmission, very smooth power. It gets up to speed very quickly. You know, awesome, awesome SUV. And for the midsize SUV, this feels pretty agile, pretty nice, pretty, pretty fun. It does not feel like, you know, it's like one of those. I've driven some, you know, Toyota's where it's like, uh, you know, I don't want to really turn. I'm more of a comfortable GT. This thing, yeah, this thing, yeah, this thing feels like, hey, I'm not, you know, I can eat it. Obviously, you feel the weight now more into the speed, but it's not bad at all. It's got good steering feedback um, and it feels pretty good. It goes where you point it to go. I really like this Explorer, so. So I guess, you know, if, you, if you're liking this content, guys, subscribe, hit the like button, share this video. I appreciate every one of you watching and subscribing as well. I thank you so much to, to all of you who watch me, so. Um, awesome little Explorer. Now this is obviously, I just drove the ST not too long ago, uh, but this is just a regular ST line. This is not the ST, this is the ST line, which gives, as I mentioned, the looks, a bit of different leather for, but with the four cylinder power. So if you're looking for a little more efficiency as well. So great little uh, SUV. I mean, that's not a little SUV, it's been a pretty good midsize SUV. I really like it. Plenty of amenities. You got a sunroof. I wish they just had the cool seats because obviously here in Florida, with you know it's what did it say it's 92 degrees outside so it's pretty warm and if this thing had the cool seats it'll be perfect it's obviously the cool seats really really are awesome here in florida so but you know you got a great sound system everything here as you can see inside your hands you got the speaker system a nice 12 speaker bag and olsen uh, but at least you got the heated seats and the heated steering wheel if you're up north uh, but i really like it really awesome explorer st and uh, I would recommend it. So this one here, guys, this one is slightly used. Uh, so as I mentioned, this one's got just over, what are the mileage? We got just under 12,000 miles. So uh, they're asking 12, uh, they're asking $51,000 for this, uh, you know, 12,000 mile ST line Audi. It's a 2022 model. So, you know, it's still technically brand new. Um, there's no wear and tear or anything at all, as I can see. So it's not bad, obviously, considering these are not easy to find. I have not seen an ST line at all, except for this used one that came in all of a sudden. I didn't even see it on the regular. Most of you see XT models or ST models, or just, you know, sometimes a platinum or limited, but ST lines are not easy to find. And here's one of them here so it really looks really nice uh so it's basically combining the st looks with the xlt trim it's kind of put in perspective of what it's for is offering you for this suv so it's not cheap not for everybody but it is quite a bit of suv for for what you get it's got plenty of good size you know plenty of performance plenty of amenities as well 
and uh, there's not much more you can do obviously this you know unless you want more power you need more towing capability although this thing already is towing 5300 pounds even the v6 st with that twin turbo v6 only can tow another 300 pounds so this is already at basically at 90 percent of what you can tow from for an explorer so um still an awesome SUV. so here we can see you got the auto hold on little light was on so i can take off my foot and uh we'll be ready to go as soon as the traffic clears all right guys let's go ahead and get it going so guys in conclusion to this uh ford st line yes it's worth it i mean it looks really nice it's got really you know different uh things that this st line offers with its you know this, the, the badging the letters basically the sport look you know obviously if you don't want that regular you know xlt look with the chrome stuff go to this st line and you basically have a sport looking suv uh, sport looking explorer with your you know more economical engine so i would recommend this st it's fairly nice it's a good good these are good engines good suvs you know they're they they they, they are been, been pretty popular and uh, i think it's one of the best things you can have here for uh you know between what you can get economical and looks this is the perfect trim of the um explorer line as well so let's go ahead guys and take a quick look at that rear view camera let's go ahead and switch all reverse and as you can see guys here we got the trajectory lines we do have sensors as well and here's our 360 degree camera as you can see guys all going around and you can definitely uh point down here as well if you have your if you're towing something and go back to the camera you can go around to the rear or to the front as well depending on your mode so we can go back to the front here as well so but it's got a really good um, awesome camera let's go back to the back to the trajectory lines and we have also sensors as well let's go and get back to the sidewalk there and there we guys we got these sensors going off so it's pretty low i'm, I'm surprised they're detecting that low of a, of a little bit of a road there a little bit of um sidewalk there so all right guys let's go ahead and put this in part guys hope you guys enjoyed this review of this explorer st really nice good package you know decently priced fifty thousand dollars for something like this uh it's still you know not a bad package at all if you want something sportier with a little more economical engine so thanks so much for watching guys thank you to all that have subscribed you guys have a fantastic day and we'll catch you on the next video guys take care Bye bye